back to my channel. So I just made breakfast. I made myself a green smoothie and I topped it with some sliced almonds and pumpkin seeds and a little bit of chia seeds. It's, it's time, time to get, get back, back on track. track. So as a lot of you guys may know, I've been recently traveling a lot and like all of the obligations of home have piled up. I have so much stuff to do. I cannot be successful, whether it's like with work or anything if i'm super duper unhealthy so the first order of business is to get back on track with my dang diet y'all your girl was out there eating ramen two three times a day sounds like the life doesn't feel like the life though the one thing that always makes me feel really really good and helps me to transition into eating healthier is my green smoothies oh my god this one is a little bit different i have been loving this recently i feel like this is a summer drink but it's fine so i put one fourth of an apple which i never do but my friend has been just ranting and raving about one apple a day keeps the doctor away nonsense right now honestly you tell me an apple a day go keep the doctor away matter of fact i was in the hospital like yesterday we had to get like oh I'm not even gonna go into it. Anytime I'm feeling sick, I make these soups and I always have leftover celery leaves because I use celery in them. So instead of wasting them, I found that if you put them in your smoothies, it's like awesome. Anyway, so first order of business, this head. So today's video is in collaboration with Function of Beauty. I'm so excited because I've seen everybody using this product and I just could not wait to get my hands on it. I don't wash my hair that often, but I've been gone for a minute and like it's beyond time. Also, if you watch a lot of my old videos, you'll see that I like to keep my hair, my real hair, really, really short, like ear length. Like I usually cut it like here because I don't really wear my hair out that often and I find it a lot easier to keep up with when it's super duper short. I have not cut my hair in a very long time. I usually cut it like once a month. My sister has convinced me to go on this whole natural hair journey. I'm actually really excited because the perms was getting played out. The only reason why I even permed my hair in the first place was because I was planning on chopping it all off, like getting like, guys, like to the scalp haircut. That didn't happen. Couldn't find a black stylist. So I permed my hair for nothing and now I'm just trying to grow the perm out. And so like all my natural hair is here and then I have all these scraggles. The scraggles gotta go. So yeah, I need to wash deep condition and cut my hair. But it is the morning and one of the things that I like to do recently is answer all of you guys' email. If you did not know, I have an online store, Mood Global. Um, wow. Big, big changes coming with that. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer a bunch of you guys' emails because I don't know I just find it very professional when establishments get back to you within a day. I am on like a completely different time zone so I begin emails at 3 a.m. 1 a.m. Function of beauty is number one customs department. They have no nasty ingredients. There's no sulfate, GMOs, toxins. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. Function of Beauty allows you to have a totally new experience where you can customize everything from your hair type, your hair goals, the color, the scent, and even some of the ingredients that go inside of your bottles. They have this really cool quiz on their website that you can take that'll help you to customize the perfect formula for you. The bottles are so freaking cute and I love how you can name them. They also give you some stickers so you can customize the bottle even more. Um, I chose not to use any of the stickers because I love this beautiful clean green look. They offer 18 hair goals. I chose deep conditioning, fix split ends, hydration, replenish hair, and strengthen. And of course, I named my formula Function of Ramen. It actually sounds disgusting considering it's going on my skin and hair, but... <laughs> Whatever. You can choose if you want a fragrance or not. I chose eucalyptus and mint. It smells so good and feels really, really refreshing. Also, you can choose if it has color or not. I did get mine in seafoam green just because that kind of matches my house. Um, I got the body wash and the lotion, however, in no color. Also, you can choose if you'd like silicone or not in the formula. I actually chose mine to have no silicone. This is the first time ever. I just wanted to test out what it'd be like using a super Super duper natural product. However, if I do ever change my formula, which you can do because our hair changes with the seasons, um, the next batch I will definitely get it with silicone just because it helps me to detangle my hair a little bit better. So I've been using the shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in conditioner for a while now. I got it sometime last month and I've been testing it out. So, so far by using these products, I have found that my hair is so, so much cleaner and so I can actually apply a lot of my other products to it and they can absorb into my skin and my hair a lot easier. So happy I 
I do have a discount for you guys, so click the link below for 20% off of your first order. Thank you again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Yep, it never fails. There's just something about long curly hair bangs and lip liner that make me feel like Selena. <laughs> All right, so I'm just getting ready. I decided to go with this curly bang look. My hair feels so amazing after being cleaned, conditioned, oiled, cut, and braided. So this is actually gonna be a very, very busy week for me. I have so much stuff going on. Um, I think the biggest thing that is freaking me out the most is the immigration office. I have to go back there. I have to renew my visa to live here. I was actually never planning on living here in Japan this dang long. I have been here in December. It will be five years. I was supposed to say like one or two, but it is so hard to leave and I'm all settled, you know? The plan was Korea, Japan, somewhere in Europe like Paris or Italy, and then New York. It might just be time to get going with the plan. I was kind of preparing to move to uh, Paris, but I heard France is having like its second wave of the Rona and they're um, in quarantine again. I don't know. It's just like the whole situation of the world is not helping me right now. I sure ain't trying to go back to America. Y'all got, y'all got too much going on over there. It's a mess. Also things with my store. Oh, so many changes. So I want to say thank you to everyone who purchased something um, the last time. This next time is going to be so much much different. I thought it would be easier if I had factories overseas so that they could ship items to you guys anywhere in the world. Easier does not always mean better. So I had a couple of issues with shipping, like stuff getting lost in the Rona, Rona delays. I know some of that isn't their fault. I also had a few issues with the tracking numbers, like they weren't updating automatically like they were supposed to. I swear, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. I did so so much work putting together this company and also so much money and i'm not trying to have nobody else mess it up for me so i fired every single factory all of them had to go with the whole not cutting it but so i guess the biggest change would be that i now have one factory located in california we are now i'm so so sorry only shipping to the u.s right now Due to the Rona and everything else, I just want to do everything myself. But custom items that I make myself, those will ship worldwide. I think some of you guys might have seen this Kyoto sweater if you're following me on Instagram. Move global, go on here, you know, follow up. That'd be, that'd be nice, you know? Let's be friends. You might have seen the sand Kyoto sweater. That one's a custom made item and will ship worldwide. But other items, these are only gonna ship to the US for right now until we get a handle on everything and this Rona kind of dies down because it's really affecting shipping like crazy. I had to like reformat the entire company from the software to the facilities to the factory the shipping oh, oh my god it was so much work but i think it'd be worth it in the long run so i guess the other big announcement will be the shipping will be so, so much, much faster. faster i just feel like my store is like finally taking the next step and i put so much work into it so we actually just got done shooting all of the items for the fall collection <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the winter one is already on its way. I had the girls like try them on and I try to get as much video as I possibly could so you guys can kind of like see the items. I have been wearing a lot of them already. I think this neat sweater might be my favorite. It's such good quality and it's so cute. I just love this color of green. Also, I need to organize all of the samples. Guys, this is not the inventory. This is just my samples so that I can like test out the products, wash it, see how it handles in the washing machine, dry it, shoot it, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm about to head out so I can run some errands and then after that, I'm gonna come home and try and like organize some of these samples because they look really messy. Also, my luggage has been sitting here. I need to finish unpacking. I unpacked quite a bit of it because it mostly just had Mood Global stuff in there, but I still have so many things to put away that I need to put away. So yeah, I need to finish unpacking this luggage.
did some really, really light makeup because I have to take a picture for the immigration, the immigration office. office. Hence why there is no mascara. Like, y'all not putting on scaras. I'm just wearing this Nezuko sweater that I got for my birthday. It is so freaking cute. It's the first time um, I've worn it and I already ruined it. While doing my makeup, I got bare minerals all over it. This is what I'm talking about. I just cannot have nice things. How is this even possible? Bruh. This literally looks like a hoarder's room. It looks like one of the rooms that you see on those house hunter episodes where they find empty abandoned houses that have junk everywhere and they got to clean it up and junk. This is what that look like right now. Don't pay attention to the backpack, but. Bruh. I need to figure out a way to store all the inventory somewhere. My thought is a floor to ceiling rack right here and just store the inventory there. It just, it doesn't have a place and they've been in these boxes and I need to keep them just in case I need to reshoot them or look at the sizes. If you guys have any ideas for storing inventory clothing, let me know. Help me out. I am going to try and clean my room because that's another thing I need to be realistic about. I am sick and I can't do as much as I used to be able to do when I was healthy. So I need to take on these projects like a little bit at a time. In the past, I just cleaned the whole house. Now I gotta just like do things in batches. So yeah, I'm gonna tackle the bedroom today and try and film. job of clearing this corner there was two boxes here and now there's just one so these are all the active pieces in the store as well as some future ones i found these like vacuum seal bags i've used these before for my big poofy gowns and they worked so well so i put all the old mood global stuff in these bags i'm gonna um vacuum seal them in a little bit i think this is a good idea just to get them out of the way i'm gonna try and store them in the closet somewhere because like, oh, they were just taking up so much space and I'm not selling them on the store anymore, but just in case I need to reshoot them or restock them or something like that. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. Now, I just need to figure out what to do with all of the active inventory. If you guys have any suggestions on storing these things nicely because I'm a very visual person, like I, I need things in my house to look good. <laughs> so I don't know, some kind of storage situation, maybe a floor to ceiling shelf, I'm thinking, but I really don't know. Also, I have ordered these gigantic boxes off of Amazon. They're like moving boxes. I have filled this entire box with clothes to donate and give away. Some of these are brand new, never even got to wear them yet. Yeah, a lot of these purses never even got to use. A lot of this stuff is also reject samples from my shop. Things that I ordered samples for, tested it out, it didn't pass, so yeah, gotta get rid of those. For example, this gorgeous skirt. Oh, I love it so much. This adorable skirt was supposed to be in the fall collection. It is very nice material and so cute, but... You see that nonsense? Why did they come with this, like, disgusting lining of shorts at that sewn in? Like, I just... I could not... So, so yeah, I think my friend Layla wants to come through and like look through all this stuff and see if she wants anything. Everything else we're going to donate. 